I think a few days away in the Clare Valley is one of the best ways to absorb a real sense of South Australia. It's got that peaceful rural authenticity, but it's spiced up with some truly exceptional food and wine experiences. And there are so many ways to explore the region. By bike, on foot, by vintage car. Ah, too much fun. You're definitely going to need a place to catch your breath and put your feet up. That's where Neagle's Retreat comes in. Just five minutes from the town of Clare itself, four brand new self-contained villas share gorgeous views over gums and Riesling vineyards on a private 75 acre property. The genial hosts are Deb and Santo Scaglione, or Skags as he's better known. We just had some people here last weekend, they yeah. bought their bikes and they stayed in Villa One yep. and uh, they rode all the way through down to Penwortham, had lunch, come back and with a few bottles of wine sat out on the deck with a barbecue that night and uh, absolutely had a ball. Why didn't they call me? <laughs> As long time local publicans, Deb and Skaggs knew there was a need here for higher end self-contained accommodation to suit groups as well as couples. But it was really the landscape that spoke to them. I think you just look outside and I think that explains everything because um, when we first bought the property we sat up here on the hill and I said to Deb, I said, well, this is a place to build villas. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, it's just uh, the setting was just perfect. The villas each have two bedrooms with king beds that can be split into singles, making them suitable for two couples or families. Each bedroom has an ensuite, and if you feel like a little extra luxury, then this separate bath might be just what you're after. The open plan living area has plenty of room for socialising. Deb says many guests comment on the villa's kitchen being better equipped than their own homes. It's got everything, and most of all, it's got a dishwasher, which, which um, is what people like. But with the Clare food scene really taking off, Sometimes the kitchen doesn't even get a look in. Well, the wine made, is a major part, obviously, for the Clare Valley, but the food has really come up with it, and I think it's, it's hand in hand, isn't it? We just all love to sit and have a glass of wine with our food, and, yeah, love it. We've got seeds, terroir, and they, they've become um, a household names now. They're, they're very, very upmarket and uh, they're doing great produce and uh, and of course you've got places like Paulette's the wineries have really taken on another angle to uh, their cellar doors with uh, providing produce and it's been fantastic. Well it's another perfect morning in the Clare Valley and the Niggle Retreat Villas just happened to come with very generous provisions for a cooked breakfast which is just as well because with everything I've got planned to see and do today I'm going to need a lot of energy.